Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to another doll unboxing and review. Not a Monster High one this time if you've been keeping up with the channel. I've been doing so many Monster High unboxings lately because they've just been releasing so many dolls. Uh, so we're finally not doing a Monster High unboxing today. And so we are going to be looking at Victory from LOL OMG Series 8. And I'm very, very excited about this. Honestly, the rest of the doll world has been following suit with Monster High. There's been a lot of other releases happening as well. So I'm very excited today to get into to it and victory here is definitely my favorite from series eight i think the entirety of series eight you can see the art on the back of the box here i think they all are beautifully designed even um, the one that i don't particularly want pose i think she has a lovely design i just think that whoever was on the design team for series eight absolutely nailed it and yeah victory is for sure my favorite i just love the vibe and the colors so i'm extremely excited to get into her obviously you saw the back of the box and you've been seeing the front of the box with victory here she does have some little like semi surprise elements on the side so i will save those but i am going to go ahead and unbox the doll herself off camera before i do that i do have to say that if you guys find yourself liking the video if you could give it a like it's very helpful to me and if you're new here and you enjoy your time definitely subscribe so you can see more but with that yeah i'm gonna go ahead and unbox her off camera and then i will come back to unbox like the little stuff and talk about the doll and just have a grand time so i will see you guys in a second Okay, we've got Miss Victory all unboxed, and y'all know me, I like to end on the thing that I'm most excited about, which is always the doll. So we're gonna go through her little accessories first. Obviously, she's on a vibrant yellow stand. I, I love neon colors, I love that. And then she has a little silver OMG brush. Victory comes with a fashion magazine that you can like fold together. It tells us that she is a Gemini and says, no one will see you coming. Don't be afraid to take them by surprise. These are fine. They're not like my favorite thing ever. They're a cute little accessory. Um, I think I'd be much more into them if I knew anything about star signs. <laughs> but I think that that is like a cute thing to include. And then her boxes and stuff are very interesting because OMGs used to come with like plastic hat boxes and plastic shoe boxes. And then they stopped doing that in favor of, I think, just little bags. I literally can't even remember. Like I've done unboxings of them. And I just, I don't remember, but I think it's just in bags. I think this is the first time we're seeing kind of cardboard boxes meant to directly replicate the plastic ones we used to get. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. Like I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is the first time that I remember seeing anything like this. I think it's really cute because I think it gives that personal feel to the dolls without having all of the plastic boxes that just kind of add up. Because honestly, I... I don't even have that many old OMGs like compared to some people and I already have so many plastic boxes. So I like the fact that you can like maybe recycle this afterwards or you could keep it if you want to, but you have options with that. So let's go ahead and take out her shoes. We've got neon, neon tissue paper. Oh my goodness. I love these boots. Oh my gosh. The like slightly metallic sheen on the boots is kind of replicated on the doll. Obviously we will get there in a second. And all of these bright neon painted details as well as some silver like buckles thrown in there. Oh, that looks so good. I don't know what the heel shape is a reference to. I feel like that's for a purpose. Like, it's not just a design, you know? I feel like that's a reference to something and I just don't get it. So if you know, let me know in the comments. But I do think that the paint jobs on both of them look quite solid, which is always a lovely, lovely thing to be able to say. Then we'll do this little bag that we got. So there's like a cardboard kind of shopping bag shape with more tissue paper inside. I have to make sure this isn't the accessories. Y'all know I always lose the accessories. It is. Ugh, I nailed it this time. Okay get these out carefully oh my gosh I'm so excited about this doll okay first of all is a little like fanny pack this is very interesting because it has like proper stretchy silver cord and then the pack itself does like slightly open there's no clasp or anything but the type of plastic is bendable enough to where you can like kind of open it I love the texture. This feels so good, actually. And then I think this in the back, that's like a proper buckle. 
That is so cool. Oh my gosh. I can't believe the detail on that. I can't even get it back in. It's so tiny. There we go. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> then we have earrings that say LOL OMG. Not necessarily my favorite piece, just because I don't love when there's like branding on doll earrings and clothes and stuff. Like Rainbow High is a big culprit of that. But I do think that they're pretty cool. It could be worse. And then I love these. I'm so excited about this. Fingerless gloves. They're like a squishy sort of plastic. Not quite as squishy as like old Polly Pocket clothes. Or I think the LOL Tots have squishy clothes. They're not quite that squishy. But obviously malleable enough to be able to like get onto her hand. Love the bright orange color. Orange is my favorite color. So I'm a sucker for it and the little silver bows. I just think that's fun. I don't know if OMG has done gloves like that before, but the fingerless gloves that I'm like most familiar with are the fabric ones from Rainbow High. And I mean, I get that they're technically fabric, so like it might be considered higher quality, but low key, I feel like I prefer the look of this. So we'll have to see, like I'll put them on her after we look at like the stuff she comes with, but I kind of feel like this might be easier to deal with than the fabric gloves of Rainbow High. I don't know. I'm very fascinated. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. All right, last box here. And we have got her sunglasses. These are so cool. The shape is just very fun and like kind of futuristic. The yellow, it's like transparent so you can still like kind of see her eyes behind it. I do like these. I will say, looking at the art on the box, the art definitely made it look like there was going to be more of a gradient color. And there's a very, very slight orange tint in the middle of the glasses, but absolutely nowhere near as intense as on like the art. So I do wish that there was a little bit more of a gradient to the glasses. I think that that would have been cool because I was really excited for these based on the art. They're still nice. Like I'm not saying that they're bad, just I guess I was expecting something different. <laughs> okay, then we can take Victory off her stand here and we'll start by looking at like everything that she has on and then I'll put the other stuff on her so you can get kind of a complete vision of how she looks. Starting off with the hair, so many fun colors. It is so soft. It is super full of product, but the hair that isn't full of product is almost unreal in how soft it is. I have a lot of dolls, y'all, and I can without question say that this is some of the softest hair that I have ever felt on a doll. Like, I can't stop. It feels so nice. I'm very excited to like wash the gel out so that I can have more of that texture. And the colors are so pretty, the light and the dark blue, little streaks of like a pale yellow, and then a very, very vibrant neon, like orangey pink. I think it's looking a little bit more orange on camera. And to me in person, it looks a little bit more pink. Either way, super, super cute though. I do think the style is super fun and I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to recreate this, so I am sorry, but I'm not going to be like checking for the rooting pattern just because I think her hair looks really nice and I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just going to wash it in this style already. I'm sorry if that's disappointing to you guys. I just like, I can't risk it. <laughs> uh, talking about her face. Her face is so fun. LOL OMGs always have such great makeup to me they just always look so interesting. Like the colors are always so fun. I'm obsessed with this neon orange lip. Like she's killing it. She just looks incredible. The eyes are like almost metallic silver, but with a tinge of yellow to it. I don't know. I feel like her face is just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm very, very excited. I think to talk about her clothes, I am going to take her jacket off really quick. So let me pull her hands off. And I do have to say, so she has this kind of choker piece that is attached to her jacket. There's a teensy tiny piece of Velcro here so that you can like unlatch it. Oh gosh, this is gonna be difficult, hold on. <laughs> I need two hands. Okay, that was actually extremely hard to do just cause it was really hard to get this Velcro piece through the ring, but 
now that I've managed to do it, you can see there's a Velcro piece here and here. So when it goes through the ring, you can like close it and have it look more like a choker. And that is the closure for the jacket. So I am not gonna be putting this back on her for this video because then I would just have to take it off again and then put it back on her again for washing her hair. Um, so when I put all of her other pieces on her, we're gonna do it sans jacket. I, sorry, I'm not trying to disappoint y'all, but like, <laughs> this is just a lot of effort. So now I can take it off and we'll look at the jacket really. Oh my God. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Sorry. I was not expecting her to have full mesh sleeves. How am I supposed to decide if I should put the jacket on or not now? Okay. We'll get back to that in a second. I have to show you the jacket because it's so cool. There's a couple different fabrics here. So there's like this kind of vinyl fabric that most of it is made of and then little ribbons going down the arms and then around the collar as well. And then there's like a metallic ribbon kind of at the front meant to mimic, I think, a zipper. Lots of printed detail. So 707 OMG on here. It says extra on the side. And then that says LOL, not 707. <laughs> it took me until I saw LOL OMG on like the chest of the jacket to realize that that is also supposed to be LOL. My bad. <laughs> and then there's like this fun design on the back here. This is kind of what I was talking about with the boots. It's not showing up as much as I want it to on camera, but the blue vinyl does have like a slight iridescence to it, almost like an oil slick effect. It's really cool. So like the jacket is awesome. It looks so good, but also this shirt is so cool. I was not at all expecting the mesh sleeves and I love me a good mesh sleeve. The rest of the top is all one piece so I can solidly say that. Oh wow. Let me pull her skirt down really quick so that you can more clearly see. Are you joking? I apparently didn't know anything about this doll. <laughs> what? I'm so baffled. Oh my god. It's a whole bodysuit under there. Okay, so I guess we'll talk about the skirt separately too. I, <laughs> I'm having such good feelings. That's so, so cool. It makes it so difficult to know how to style this doll because every piece is so awesome. But what a fun surprise to see an entire layer under there. Okay, skirt though is honestly probably one of my favorite pieces. I just think it looks so good. It's mostly the blue vinyl with like some of the silver bits on there. And then we have like a bright yellow fabric like ruffle sewn on there my brain forgot the word ruffle for a second and i love the buckles on the front they are fully 3d like i can get my finger underneath them with bright yellow ribbons and then silver buckles and i'm just astounded at the detail going back to the doll we keep getting distracted here so this is finally the whole like bottom layer. It's a full bodysuit with mesh on the arms as well as a little bit on the legs here. And then there's this cool like shimmery fabric. I don't know what to call this. I've referenced it before in other videos that it's like kind of like those little lizard plushies that you used to get as a kid, <laughs> but it feels like that. It's actually extremely soft though. There's some more of kind of a vinyl material around the belt. And then also at the shoulders is kind of like almost little cap sleeves. And then we also have the bright orange like striping all over. This looks so good. <laughs> I'm at such a loss for how awesome this doll looks. Like I, I don't know how to act. So I, like I said, I'm not going to put her jacket back on because that was very difficult to get back on. Um, and I want to show you guys what everything looks like together, but that, that was like a lot of work and I'm just going to have to take it off to wash your hair and then put it back on. And I just, I just don't feel like it. Okay. I'm, I'm being a bit lazy today. I'm sorry. It's just the fabric of like the vinyl and like how tight it is. It's not vinyl on the inside, but like this fabric is kind of sticking on her legs and the skirt's also hard to get back on. So we're going to give her a little look with this, which honestly, that's a whole outfit in and of itself. So am I being lazy? Yes. But do I feel like it's going to look ugly? No, <laughs> I think it's honestly viable. I'm still so shocked. Like I was not expecting the whole bodysuit. I thought it was just like a little crop top under there. Like I thought it was just that portion and for there to be so much more it's just 
so exciting to me. I don't know how to act. <laughs> okay, so we've got her little boots on and time to try to slip on the gloves. That's something I was very, very excited about. I might need two hands for this. I'm so sorry. I'm bad at my job. We'll try to move this down so you can like see it while I do this. Because I want you guys to be able to see like if it's difficult or easy to do. But I definitely need two hands to do it. Am I blocking like fully? Here we'll zoom in. Tilt down. I'm like a professional with the camera angle. <laughs> okay, there we go. That actually wasn't that bad. Once I stopped having to like focus on <laughs> can you see it, that really wasn't hard to get on at all. I'm very pleasantly surprised by that. We'll do the other one real quick. So you literally just like slip it around the fingers and then you can kind of pull open the backside to get the thumb in there too. And there's like a separate thumb hole. That is so awesome. I really do prefer that to the Rainbow High ones. I just feel like it looks sleeker and it's easy to get on. So like I understand fabric is usually better quality, but that's kind of a vibe. Dang, okay, let me let me zoom back out really quick. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna snap her fanny pack around her waist here. Rotate your little head, girl. They're such small pieces and I appreciate the detail, but my hands are just like not feeling it today. Some days I have like better hand days than others and I feel like my hands are just not wanting to cooperate right now. <laughs> They're tired from braiding Claudine's hair. I'm still not done with that. It takes so long for me because like my carpal tunnel flails up really bad with the braids. Okay, finally, we've gotten all of her little accessories on. So like, I know she doesn't have these two pieces, but this is also an outfit and kind of a vibe. The sunglasses honestly do look really good. Like, do I still kind of wish that they had more of an orangey tone in the middle? Yes, but like, they still look awesome. Like if it weren't for the box art, I would have no complaint whatsoever. The fanny pack is so cool that it actually clips on and like functions. That's so, that's so cool. Her little earrings are in and then her shoes are looking fabulous. I almost don't even know what to say. I'm gonna pop her up here so I can try to collect myself to give you guys some like final thoughts. I'm literally blown away by this. Like, I'm in shock. I almost don't know what to say. I completely understand people who don't like LOL OMG because of the faces. I've grown to like them. It took me a very long time to grow to like them because like, it is an acquired taste. Like it is a very distinct face. It's not for everyone. I've grown to like it, but I understand why a lot of people don't. That being said, I feel like it is almost undeniable that OMG has like some of the best detail clothing wise on the Playline doll market. Like this doll was $25 in the US and she comes with a jacket, a skirt, a bodysuit <laughs> and tons of accessories, super soft hair, solid makeup. Like <laughs> I just, I can't, get over it. I feel like for the price right now, OMG has just such amazing quality with the gloves that you can slip on and the choker on her jacket that functions as a closure and the closure on the fanny pack. Like that's such a good amount of detail and such an impressive amount of detail for the price. And I'm just blown away. Like we've been starting to see on Instagram some pictures of the um, stock photos for Shadow High Series 3, which I think are going to also retail for around a similar price. And I don't want to put them up yet because I don't know if they're finalized stock photos and I get nervous about copyright and stuff. But I feel like it's pretty undeniable that they do not have the same level of detail as this doll does here. Like the faces might be better for some people for sure. I get that. And they have more articulation at the knee. But I'm I'm just so blown away and so impressed by this doll. So I guess my overall thoughts are that I thought that I was really going to love her just from an aesthetic point of view. 
from a quality point of view, she has jumped so high in terms of like my OMG ranking. I already, I did an OMG ranking video and I included her in it and she was already top tier. But in terms of like my personal collection, her quality alone might have jumped her up to more of the forefront of my favorite OMG doll in my collection, which says a lot. <laughs> I'm so impressed by her. I think if I had to pick, my favorite things about her are, I think the skirt is just a really nice piece. All of the like 3D details, the couple of different fabrics, it looks amazing. And I cannot express to you enough in like a, you know, video format, how soft this doll's hair is. Like, it's absolutely unreal how soft it is. So those are my favorite things. If you make me pick a least favorite thing, <laughs> it's that the jacket is like a little bit hard to undo and the box art doesn't quite match the actual sunglasses. But in the grand scheme of things, that is not a bad least favorite thing to have to have. So this doll has thoroughly blown my mind. I'm very, very excited. I already wanted two others from this line. I wanted jams and wildflower. I'll show you really quick on the box these two I already wanted them and now I want them like so much faster because I was like oh I can wait like I'll just get victory for now now I want them immediately <laughs> because they just look so cute and now having experienced unboxing her I'm so excited to like get into the details on the other dolls so this has been a great day for me sorry I feel like I've been talking for a while so I wasn't trying to like talk your ear off or kind of get into too much with this doll but this has been such an unexpected fun one, like above and beyond any of my expectations. So definitely a great review here. <laughs> I would love to hear your thoughts on the stall. If you've also purchased her or like if you were thinking about buying her, kind of what do you think about her now having seen her unboxed? I would just love to talk about it with you guys as well as the rest of series eight from OMG. But yeah, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.